Right, so now that we have our project complete, essentially this component library can be ready to deploy to NPM itself. So all you would do is run NPM run build, just to make sure everything is building, the bundle is working correctly and so on. And you can see there's no errors or anything, so that's fine. So what we could do now is publish it to NPM, but what we now want to do is re refine this and implement some best practices in for a professional environment. So this is the step where you would go the extra mile to improve your code, make it look more professional, add some further checks, and also automate the pipeline using Circle CI. So what we are going to be doing is we have this code here. Let's go ahead and implement some best practices, some linting rules, adding Husky in and so on. So first of all, what I want to do is be able to automate my change log. So whenever I make a change in the code, then essentially I will automate this process in Circle CI. So let's go ahead and start with implementing Husky itself. So, so going into our component library architecture, what we've essentially done is this component library here, We've imported in Jest, we've done TypeScript, and we also need to do ESLint and Husky as well. We've done the rollup part, which is fine, so we can check that one off. And then we also need to do this. So CircleCI will basically handle everything in here, upload it to NPM. We don't need to do anything, it's quite easy to do. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do is go in and install Husky. So let's go into the Husky docs. You wanna search for Husky NPM and click in here so now as you can see this is a npm package as well so this is what we actually are creating so what we can do is copy npm husky here like so or we could click to the repository so this is where we would have the information for the project itself but what i want to do is just go into the docs and in the docs click get started and what we want to do is do the recommended steps which is husky in it so let's copy that and back in our project in our terminal we just want to paste that in mpx husky in it so now we will go through a series of questions so yeah it's okay to proceed and now what's happened is a husky folder here has been initialized so let's close everything down and go into the husky folder so in here we have a pre-commit that says npm test and in our package json we should have a script for husky in here so if we scroll all the way to prepare it says husky in here so now what i want to do is try and commit and what will happen is it will run a test and if it, the test fails then it will exit the commit so let's go ahead and do that so let me first of all go in source in test and let me just do a, a failing test because it should pass because essentially the tests are passing so let me just quickly do npm run test and we want a failing test so now this will test everything and we have one failing test so that's good for us now and what we want to do is let's commit these changes using husky and actually what i also want to do before i do any of this is let's actually install everything once all over again so let's delete the package lock so let me delete that and let me also delete the node modules because what we want to do is make sure everything is installed in correctly and in our package json you can see if we scroll down we have dev dependencies but we also have dev we also have dependencies so let's move them into the dev dependencies because what we actually want is actual dev dependencies and not dependencies because this is a component library so now let's just check everything is in here so we have storybook command we have a build storybook command we have the dev and build command and we also have the test command we also have husky in there as well so let me clear this out and then what i want to do is do npm install now this will install everything from afresh for us again. So now everything's installed again. What I want to do is try to commit and essentially this Husky should run npm test before it commits any changes. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's do git status. So what we want to do is add everything and essentially what we have done is 
added storybook so i'm just going to do git commit and it's going to be dash m and the commit message is going to be a feature and it's going to say added storybook press enter so now as you can see it's running the test so let's go ahead and see what's happened it ran the test so this is a pre-commit check and it basically exited out so if we go up a bit more further you can see that it ran the test nothing happened and essentially it stopped committing the code and you can see it here it's still here on the left so what we want to do is further configure this now so that's good what we can do is actually add further to this so this is we need to add a hash so i'm just going to make this look a bit better so it's a hash and then exclamation mark slash bin slash bash and then essentially now we can add the comments in so these are the checks that you should do before you commit your code so all we want to do here is first of all we want to run tests before the commit which is what we did we ran a test essentially npm test and then we also want to make sure we want to lint so we need to add a linter and we'll do that and we also want to make sure the build works so let's go ahead and make sure build works so essentially this is the steps that we want to take before we do the commit so essentially when a user in your team or project is working they would sometimes be careless or they might miss make a mistake and forget to do these checks these are the checks that we should do before we commit code up into our github itself so let me just save that and what we need to do is we need to have a linter so what we will do is we've done the pre-commit check now we want to do a linter check and then what we also want to do is follow the conventional commits which we will look at later on but essentially if you saw my commit message here i did something here which was feet which means it's a feature and then i'm describing the feature because what will happen is this will then get added to a change log so we will install a package called standard version and then the change log is automated and we will automate it in our c circles in our circle ci pipeline so we'll look at that later but essentially what this pipeline is is this section over here in our component architecture so the ci cd pipeline so first of all we've done husky itself we want to do eslint make sure all of the processes we've described are working correctly in here for our pre-commit we will also do a commit message which will check that we are following the conventional commits practices over here if they are not met then the commit won't go ahead as well so it's just adding extra checks before we do our commits or our pushes to our, our relevant branches so what we want to do next is we want to configure our linter and we will do that with eslint